Hi, my name is Michael Gallegos, and I will be your instructor for MAT 153 Web Design 1. And in this course, we're going to give you an overview of what web design is, starting with what is a web designer, how do we start, um, how do we get online, how do we get a website online quickly, and then we're going to go over and look at coding, uh, what do we need to know about coding to start with, and then talk about the aesthetics of design. So we want to look deeply into the design aspect ex itself and how we communicate our designs and then providing user experience fundamentals to make sure that people that come to our site are going to stay on our site and get the information we want to give them. Now this is going to require planning and we're going to learn how to use Photoshop in this class in order to create a design we're going to look at type in Photoshop, and we're going to look at grid-based design and responsive design. And then towards the end of the class, we'll be looking at, at some basic coding in HTML, CSS, and jQuery. Now, this class is going to be a combination of an outline, a textual outline that I've created for the class, and then you all watching lynda.com videos to kind of fill in um, the blanks and to give you some visual aids, which I think is better than just sending you to websites. In this course, we will also be using Photoshop CC or higher. So as long as you have that version of Photoshop CC or higher, then you're going to be all right. If you need to purchase it, here is where the website is for Adobe's uh, Creative Cloud site, and you can purchase only Photoshop for $10 a month. Now, if you can't afford that, you have access to our lab, which is in the Digital Arts Center. As long as you are local, you can come and use the lab at your convenience. If not, then you're going to have to purchase the software. And again, the cheapest way to get it is here through their site, and it's an annual plan where you pay $10 a month for Photoshop. Okay, in this course, we're going to be using a combination of Canvas and a separate website which is going to contain the content for the site. So in Canvas is where you're going to be submitting assignments and posting discussions and seeing your grades. The syllabus is also posted in Canvas, but the content itself for the site is going to be on a separate website. So when you get to Canvas and you open up the course, you're going to see this page here. This is the home page. From here, you'll see that there's some information here, and there's a link to the course website. So if you click on this link, it's going to take you to the course website. And again, this is where the content is organized for the course. So on the home page, you'll see that we have a link to read syllabus. Now, this syllabus is in Canvas, so if you click on it, it's going to take you back to Canvas, and it'll show you the syllabus. So the first thing that you're going to do is read this syllabus. And you need to read it carefully, and you need to make sure that you understand it completely. Part of the orientation assignment that you're going to be completing this first module is to email me and tell me that you read and understood the syllabus. So make sure that you do. Everything is listed here. So if we click the Back button, we can get back to the course and then look at the content here. Now, within each weekly module, we have the content and activities for the course. So if we click on orientation, for example, the first module is the orientation module. The first thing that you want to do is watch the video that's in the module. So each one of these modules is going to contain an embedded video right in the middle. All you got to do is click on it to play it. And it's going to tell you what you need to be doing for this particular module. Now, there's also going to be three sets of activities for each module. You're going to have a read set, a watch set, and a submit set. So read, you're going to have some materials to read, of course, some online materials. It could be on the website here or links to other sites. So for this particular module, I'm going to take you to my website so you can look at some of my images and look at my website. And then also our department's website. So on this website, you can see what other students have done and the type of work that we do in our department. 
So make sure you look at those for both inspiration and to see what we're doing. Now there's a tutorial for you to watch in the orientation module about using Skype. So particularly for the online classes, it's important that you understand how to use Skype for when you get stuck. This is the best way for me to help you, for the tutor to help you in this class. There is a button down here in the footer in the lower right hand corner that is the instructor username for Skype. So all I have to do is click on there and it'll connect you to Skype. The other thing that's in this module is submit. So you're always going to have something to submit in each module. In this particular module, you're going to have an assignment and you're going to post a discussion. So if we click on the assignment button, it's going to take us to the assignment section of Canvas. Again, we're back in Canvas. And for this particular assignment, you're going to introduce yourself to, a cl to the class by uh, posting to the discussion, the introduce yourself discussion, and then you also need to read the syllabus. So you're going to answer the questions on the posted discussion. You're going to upload a screenshot of yourself or a photo of yourself also to the discussion. And then you're going to email me a type message that says that you read and understood the syllabus. And you're going to send that in Canvas email. Now, if you're not sure how to use Canvas email, well, here it is. So right here is your inbox. And if you click on this inbox here, it's going to give you the email app part of the website. All you have to do is click on here, compose new message, and then you select the course if you have different courses in here. And then you click on here to select two. So if it's to me, one of the teachers, there I am right there. You select me, you type in a subject, you type in a message, and you click send. So it's that easy. Okay, the next part of this particular module is the post a discussion. So if you click on, again, the link there, it's going to take you to the discussion section of Canvas where you're going to post a discussion. So tell us about yourself, answer these questions here, and then post a picture of yourself. Now, in order to post the picture in a Canvas discussion, you actually have to upload the file in Canvas. And in order to do that, you need to go here to your account. So if you click on account in Canvas and then you go to files, you can then upload a file here and then attach it in the discussion. So I'll show you how to do that. Uh, if we click on upload, we can find a file here, any file here. Um, I don't think those are going to be the right file format. Let's see if I, here we go. Here's a JPEG here. So we'll open this file, this image here. I think it's going to be super large, but that's okay. And now you can see here, it's uploaded here in my files. So now when I go back to the discussion here, I was saying attach before, but you're actually going to embed a file. So that file that we uploaded into our files in Canvas, we want to embed it in here so everyone can see it. If we attach the file in order to view it, then everybody has to download it in order to see it. And that's not really easy to do. So we want to embed it. And the way we do that, we can type in whatever we want here. And then this little button here is embed image. If we click, click on that and then click on the Canvas tab, there is the file that I uploaded in my files. And click on that. And then click on Update. And it should be embedded in there, which it is. And then just click on Post Reply. And there you go. So. 10 points for putting a picture of yourself in here, another 10 points for answering the questions, and then another 10 points for um, sending me an email saying that you read and understood the syllabus. So please let me know immediately if I confuse the hell out of you, and I'll try to unconfuse you. But if you have any questions, let me know immediately or get a hold of the tutor and. Um, We'll get you straightened out. All right, I hope you enjoy the course.